is Matt Olney, and I'm the Director of Threat Intelligence and Interdiction here at Cisco. In 2016, in the wake of the DNC server breaches, me and a team of 10 people began researching election security in the United States. And over the past four years, we've learned a lot, culminating in a report that we released recently called What to Expect When You're Electing. As we head into the 2020 election, the team has four key takeaways based on the research that we've done. Everyone should understand that interference in and attacks on the election system are part of a larger coordinated attack on the very concept of free democracies. The adversary is trying to destroy the faith you have in democracy. The second takeaway we have is that America doesn't make it easy on itself. Instead of having a centralized election system like many other countries, individual counties largely run elections. That means the people that you pass in grocery stores are the ones responsible for running elections in the United States. And this is both a strength and a weakness in our democracy. Our third takeaway is that mail-in elections can be conducted safely. Five states in the United States already conduct their elections largely by mail. The challenge that's facing the other 45 states is that in a very short period of time because of the pandemic, they have to fundamentally alter how they're conducting the elections to account for the increase in mail-in ballots. For our fourth takeaway, we want to admit that it's hard to find examples of where 2020 is better than 2016, but election security is one of them. And while there's a lot of things that improved since 2016, I'd like to highlight two. One is the election community is much more aware of the impact of foreign interference and are actively working against it. And the other is the federal government and state and local authorities are much tightly connected and their communications and data flow will help improve election security going forward. But the thing that I would really want you to understand is every voter has a role in this fight. And so we want to leave you with recommendations for voters who are facing disinformation campaigns like we are today. If you want more information on our research, please go to the talusintelligence.com blog and you can find it all there.